Podcast pages are an excellent way to promote your podcast episodes and encourage more people to subscribe to your show. But creating this type of page in WordPress isn't easy without the right tools. In this video, I'll show you how to build a podcast landing page the easy way with SeedProd. Before we get started, please take a quick moment to subscribe to the SeedProd channel so we can continue to bring you up-to-date information and tutorials. The SeedProd team and I love having you part of the community. All right, let's get started. So the first thing we need to do is get SeedProd installed. So I logged into my WordPress website here, and this is the dashboard. Head over to seedprod.com or click the link in the description and then come over and click on Get SeedProd, the button here in the top right hand corner. Choose the account that makes the most sense for you. And after you have an account set up with SeedProd, let's go ahead and click on the login link. On the left hand side, let's enter your email address, your password, and click on the login button. After you logged into your account, you'll see some tabs up here at the top. Let's go ahead and click on downloads. And let's click the button here to download SeedProd. On the bottom left hand corner here, you'll see the license key. You can click the little icon here and that'll copy it to your clipboard. Let's go ahead and close this window. And now back in your WordPress dashboard on the left hand side, let's go to plugins and add new. At the top, we're going to click on upload plugin. And here we have the choose file. So you can click this button and select the zip file from your hard drive. Or if you're using the same browser as I am or similar, you can take this zip file down here and drag it and drop it right on that button. Next, you can go ahead and click on install now and let's click on activate plugin. Next, let's go ahead and paste that license key right in here and click verify key. If everything went well, you should see a green success message. Again, if you're using the same browser as I am or similar, you can close this tab on the bottom right. And now we're ready to start building our page. On the left-hand side, let's come under the Seed Prod tab and click Pages. And now we have different modes at the top, but we want to create a landing page. So we can come down to the bottom and create a new landing page. Next, Seed Prod is going to ask you to choose from the templates. Seed Prod comes with over 100 plus professionally designed and mobile friendly templates that you can import easily and quickly. You can also create from a blank template if you wish. Let's go ahead and do a quick search for podcasts in the search box right here and hit enter. Here we have the podcast squeeze page. We can go ahead and modify this. So we can click the check mark here and give it a name. I'm just going to keep my page name simple and call it podcast. And I'm going to click on save and start editing the page. Okay, great. So now the template has been imported into our seed prod page. So you can see the template right here on the right hand side. And on the left hand side, we have our blocks. Now we have standard blocks and advanced blocks. And now we can actually drag these blocks onto the page and drop them and then we can modify them by clicking the block settings here. So once I click on the blog settings, I now have the option to change the details of this block and the way it looks. I'm gonna go ahead and delete this for now. So the very first thing I wanna do is come down to the bottom left-hand corner here, and there's a cog wheel here for the global settings. Now the global settings will affect everything on the page unless they're overwritten on the block level. So for example, we have global fonts. So if we click here, they're currently set to enter and enter. Now we also have the font themes. These are pre-made set fonts that have a header and a body font and they're combined. So you can just click on one that you like. So I'm gonna click on this one down here on the bottom right. And you can see that the font had updated on the page. I think that looks pretty good for now. So I'm gonna leave that. If we come under colors, we can see there's different colors here that we can play with. I'm gonna leave those for now until we get the design set up. And we also have the background. So right now we have this big background image that we can see on the page. I'm gonna go ahead and actually remove this for now. And I'll just leave the black background for now. As well, if you're familiar with custom CSS, you can enter your own right here. That's good for now. Let's come back to our blocks by clicking the little icon here. And now we're back to our standard blocks. Let's go ahead and start with the header. I want to modify this. So we have a logo here for C Prod. I'm going to click on the block settings. And on the left hand side, we can see the image. I'm going to click the trash can to remove this. I'm going to use my own image. Now you're presented with the media library where you can upload your own files. So I'm going to select all of the files that I'm going to use on this page today. So here I have a new logo. I have a background image for the header a background image for the footer, and a profile picture of the podcaster. So I'm gonna select the logo. This is the one that we're modifying at this moment. And I'm going to click on select. And there we can see it was imported into the header here. Now that looks a little too big, so I'm just going to type in the image size on the left-hand side. I'm gonna do about 200 pixels just to make that a little bit smaller. Now on the right-hand side, we have a listen on Apple Podcasts icon here. Now, if you have a podcast on a different service, then of course you could update this button here with a different image, but you wanna go ahead and put the link to this image to whatever your podcast is. For now, I'm just going to put a hashtag for all the links on my page as I don't have a podcast, but you would replace this with, of course, your own podcast URL. Okay, great, that's good for our header for now. Next down here, I have this section and an empty block on the side. I actually wanna get rid of this whole section. And what I wanna do is put a nice big hero call to action section up here above my recent episodes. And right up here next to blocks, we have sections. 
and we want to go under hero and I'm actually going to use the hero nine one here. So I'm just going to add the plus sign and this will import this whole section right into our page. Now this put it at the bottom of our page and I want it right up here underneath our header. So there's two ways to do this. You can drag this right here and put it underneath. Or if you come on the bottom left hand corner, we have a layout navigation and this is every element that's on your page that you can select and you can move everything. So if I minimize all of my sections and if I hover over them and it'll actually select each one of those and I can drag and drop these in different orders if I wish. Okay, great. Now that it's in the position that I want, let's go ahead and modify this section. So the first thing I want to do is add a background image. So I'm going to select the section settings if it's not already. On the left hand side, I have the background image. Let's go ahead and delete this one. I'm going to use my own image and I'm going to use this one of a tent and click select. So there we have a nice background with some stars, a tent and a fire. Next, I want to update the text here. So I'm going to select the block settings for this text. And you might have noticed that the, the font is different than what we set in the global settings. So like I mentioned earlier, if you set the font on the block settings itself, it'll override your global settings. So first let's update the text and then we'll change the font to use the global font. I just want this to say get outdoors. And now that font is way too big for what we're using. So let's bring that down. I'm going to set this to about 100. And let's go over to the advanced. And under topography, you can see that it's set a font here. We actually just want to set this to the default. And then this will use the global setting that we set earlier. Okay, great. Next, I'm going to hit the bold for the style just to get it a little bit bigger. And then close the topography. For the text shadow, I actually want to have just a faint black outline there. So if I pick two times large, you can see how it just pops off the page just slightly. Okay, great. Next is the line underneath here. Let's go ahead and select that under the block settings. Go to the content tab. And I'm just going to put some text in here that I'm going to paste. And there we go. That's pretty hard to see, so we'll fix that. So first things first, let's make this a little bigger. I'm going to go around 22. Let's go under advanced and then topography. And again, it set its own font. We want to use the global setting, so we'll set this to default. And you'll notice some spacing in between the letters here. So we want to get rid of that. So I'm just going to delete the value for letter spacing completely. And there we go. Now we want this to pop out a little bit more. So let's put a background color on this. I'm going to close this and come back to content. And right here, if we select all of the text here, we actually have some options here for coloring. Let's click on the toolbar toggle and we have the text color and we have the background color. Let's go ahead and select this. And I want something around this green color. So that looks pretty good, but I'm going to select this and maybe do custom and then just maybe make this just a little bit darker, kind of like a forest color a little bit. And there you go. That looks pretty good to me. I do want to add some spacing in between here. So let's come back to topography for the line height. So let's go ahead and increase this just so there's a little bit of space there, maybe 1.8 right in between here. Excellent. Let's go ahead and modify this button next. So let's click on the block settings for the button. Let's update the text on it. I'll change that to listen now. You can add some subtext. And of course, don't forget to add your link here to your podcast. And let's change the size. I'm going to change this to an extra large button. And let's go into the templates. And down here, I'm going to select the yellow button. There we go. I think that looks pretty good. Let's go under the advanced and topography. We just want to make sure that we set the font family here to default. And there we go. I think we have a really nice header happening here. All right. So let's come down and actually start working on the next section. And this whole section will list all of our episodes. So right here we have the headline for recent episodes. Let's click on the block settings and this is actually just text. So I'm going to delete this block because we want to have a header. So right here we have a headline. Let's drag that right down here. Let's click on the settings and let's update the text here. I want this to be quite large so I'm going to put around 50. That looks good. And under advanced color Let's change this to white. The next thing I want to do is just have the section spacing worked out. So of course the section is purple. So let's click on the block settings for this whole section. And I want to come under advanced and spacing. And here we can change the spacing for the top, the right, the bottom, or the left. We can see each value here. So right now they're all linked. So when I change one number here, all of them will change. But if I click this, now all of them individually can be changed. So on the top, I'm going to set 100. On the bottom, I'm going to do the same thing and set 100. Now we have some nice spacing here and we can add our episodes in here that really pop out. So I'm going to change this whole layout right here, but we can copy this part. Let's go ahead back to our blocks and let's actually grab a new column here under the standard blocks. I'm going to drag this right underneath our recent episodes and I just want a single row right here. The next thing I'm going to do is take this block and drag it right into here. Great. So now the rest of these I actually actually don't need. So I'm going to get rid of these. And now we can work on this one specific one. And once it looks good, we can then duplicate it. So the first thing I'd like to do is set the background of this, the same green that we used up here. So I'm going to select this block, come over to this background color and hit custom. And that'll already have it selected. And right here we want the hex value. So I'm going to copy this, just this number right here. 
click cancel to close and then we can come back and this specific block you don't have the option to set a background color we do want to do it on this row so let's click on row settings and then we can come over and change the background color next let's take that hex that we copied and we can paste that right in here you can see how that updated down inside here next i don't want to have this the full width i'm actually going to bring this down to around 700 instead of a thousand and then i want to come under advanced and put a border on this i'm going to come under border and then border width i'm going to do about five and let's set the color to white there we go all right now let's change the colors in here let's go ahead and click the block settings so we already just did the row let's go ahead and do the block so now on the left hand side for this specific block it's an image box block so we can actually change the icon if you want by just clicking on it and you have many options to change this for i'm going to leave it to the play button i like that and let's go ahead and change the color to the yellow so we'll match this yellow up here i also want the size to be a little bit bigger so i'm going to change this to about 50 and then we can minimize this and do the text here so you can change the header text and the date and the time here you can literally have that say whatever you wish so there we go i just updated the episode name here let's come under the advanced tab and let's click on header topography the first thing i'm going to do is just make the font size a little bit bigger i'm going to put this up around 20 i like that and we can minimize that i'll keep this the same color the white and let's change the topography for the little text underneath this i'm going to go ahead and up this to around 15 and let's go ahead and change that color to black lastly let's open the spacing and i just want to add spacing on all sides for about 20 just to kind of make this box a little bit thicker looking all right so let's go ahead and actually duplicate this you want to make sure that you duplicate the row not just the block so if you did the block you can see that this would just be inside this one container let's get rid of these and we want the whole thing so let's go ahead and take the whole row we can duplicate that so now we have the whole box so let's select our second row here the row settings and come under advanced spacing and then let's set a top margin of about 10. i think that looks pretty nice so this would be episode one episode two etc and you can just keep duplicating this now that it has a margin and now you have a few episodes listed here that people can just instantly click on and redirect to the actual episode for your podcast so again let's click on this one and i'll just show you if you come under text you can just take this whole headline here and you can click the link and now you can put the link to that specific episode i'll just put a hashtag here for now and hit enter and now you can see the color here has changed and what we want to do is come back to our global settings on the bottom left hand corner and click on colors and now we can see that this is actually set to blue so i just go ahead and change this back to white you can see that that has updated and there we go we have this whole section done i think that looks really nice so we have a nice header we have a hero section here with a call to action now we have our episodes listed here all right let's add another section underneath this so on the purple section there's a little plus sign here i'm going to add a section and then i'm going to click on the add section button here let's come under testimonial and i want to use this one right here testimonial nine I'm just going to click the plus sign here and there we go let's go ahead and modify this the first thing i'm going to do is change it to a totally different background we have a dark one up here so let's go ahead and select the section settings background color and i'm going to go with a light gray something right around here i think that looks good the customer success i'm just going to delete this next let's go ahead and select this block right here and let's go under advanced the color i want this to be black and let's go under topography and i want to click on the ag here the two capitals and this will make all of that uppercase for us. There we go. I think that looks good. Let's change the picture here. So this is a picture where it would be of you if this is your podcast or the presenter or whoever's doing the interviews. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this. Of course, you could put a different image there if you wish, but this is what I would do. And I'm going to use my own image. This is not me. This is an image I found on Unsplash. And I'm going to select this. So we'll pretend that this is the podcaster that hosts this adventure podcast episode show. So let's select this block. And on the left-hand side, we have some images. You can change the size, the alignment. You can link maybe to a profile page if you wished. Under templates, I'm going to come down and select something that gives it maybe a white border around there let's come up to advanced settings and i'm going to open up the image border and i'm going to set the image white space padding i'm going to put that up actually quite a bit so it stands out to about 15 and i think that's good i'm just going to leave it like that next we have a quote here this is an icon you can change that icon to whatever you wish i'm just going to quickly change that to black you could change that maybe to an accent color as well if you wanted it to stick out maybe the green maybe the yellow i'm just going to leave it for black for now and then we have the actual testimonials here so we have one that we added already by default when we imported this section let's come under the advanced tab and we have the topography let's change the color here and the other name color here as well so maybe i'll make this one just a little bit lighter and again because this was a section let's double check the fonts because it will come with fonts in the section so for example this is open sans we want to change this to default you can see that that updated and the same as our testimonials here let's check that advanced topography 
Same thing, we have Open Sans here. Let's change that. And there we go, that looks pretty good. So for the testimonials here, let's go ahead under the content. And if you wanted to add more, you could duplicate this and then click on it. And then you could update the actual quote, the picture, and then their name. So whatever you wanna put in here, I'll just name that one to John Doe. And then down here at the bottom, you have carousel settings. So you can change this to dark or light. So I have a kind of a gray background, so it, I could probably get away with either one. I'm gonna leave it on the dark though. And now when I click, you can see how this goes between the two different testimonials here. All right, let's check the section settings here under advanced spacing. And we wanna make sure that this is consistent with this section up here. So let's go ahead and change this to zero. This was zero. And then instead of 150, we just had this to 100. So there we go. It's a little bit tighter, but that looks really nice to me. All right, great. Let's add one more section. We'll call a footer call to action at the bottom of the page. So let's add one section here and let's pick section. In the top left here, we have call to action. Make sure you click on this and let's pick this one here, call to action 14. I'm going to import that right at the bottom of the page. Great. This big image here, I don't want this. I'm going to just delete this right away. And then we're just left with this kind of nice little area that we can play with. And what I want to do is change the section settings, click that, and then come over to your background image. Let's go ahead and use your own image. And I'm going to pick the forest here. I'm going to hit select. And there we go. We have this nice background. I'm going to change the background position of it. You have a lot of options here. I think I want 100% width bottom because it's a little bit darker here. And I want the text to be white and to pop out a little bit more. If you notice, if I pick the top, it's kind of got some white background. And it's harder to see the white letters. So I'm going to hit 100% width bottom and I'll select this text and we're going to update this. So I'm going to change this text and just paste that in. And I'm going to change the font. I'm going to bring that down somewhere around 57. I think that looks fine. Let's go under advanced. And I just want to change the color to white. So underneath this, we have a spacer. This is just a spacer block. That's its only purpose is to create space between blocks. And then we have some text here. I'm actually going to delete that text. And there's icons here that came with the template that we imported. I'm going to just drop that in between here. And then I'm going to delete this whole bottom section that came with the template. So we're just left with this one right here. Now, if you click on this, you could change all of the social media icons here. Maybe you just want to change them to the podcast feeds, whatever you wish to have here. You could just update them on the left-hand side here. And finally, we have our button here let's go ahead and update the block settings for this so let's go ahead and change the text i'll just change that to listen now and immediately i believe the font is different already so we'll we'll make sure we go back and update those like we did the others again make sure you add your link that goes to your podcast and we want the extra large if you wish you actually could have just duplicated this button and brought that right down to the bottom and use that. Let's go under templates and select the yellow button. And of course, let's go under advanced topography and change this font to default. And the same thing with this here as well. Go ahead and change this to the default global setting that we picked earlier. And there you have it. You have your fully completed built page. So let's just take a quick look at it here. You have your header, your episodes, your testimonials, and then a nice footer call to action as well. And I think it turned out pretty nice. Now, if you were collecting emails here, you could add an opt-in form right here, and then you could modify this as well to collect emails for your newsletter. And then you can actually connect that by clicking the connect tab up here to your favorite third-party email marketing service. So for example, if you want to use constant contact, you can go ahead and click on connect and connect a new account. And you want to make sure that you have a constant contact account or whoever you're using. And they're going to provide you with an API key that you can paste right in here. And then you're going to click on connect connect. And now all of those emails that sign up through the opt-in form will be dealt with through constant contact or one of the other services. The third tab here, we have page settings. Let's go ahead and click on that. On the left-hand side here, we have general SEO analytics scripts custom. So right now we see general. We can change the page title, the URL. We have the page status between draft and publish. Right now we're in draft. We have the seed prod links. We can show a little powered by seed prod link on the bottom right hand corner of our pages if you like. And if you would like to join our affiliate program, you can click here to sign up and get a 20% commission on all sales. We also have an isolation mode. So if you're having any conflicts with themes or other plugins, you can enable this. And if you're using any of the Facebook features, you can put in your Facebook app ID right here. Under the SEO tab, we highly recommend that you use all-in-one SEO. And the same thing for analytics. Please check out Monster Insights for amazing features for analytics. We also have scripts. So if you want to paste anything in your header, body, or footer. And of course, the custom domain where you can set a custom domain for this specific landing page. So you can take a domain and it'll point to this specific URL. So if you have something maybe shorter or you don't want to show your landing page URL, you could use a custom one here. There's a link here for more information on that. When you're happy with everything, let's go ahead and click on save. And we can click on the little button here to publish a page. Let's click publish and click on see live page. And there we go. We can see our complete page, which looks absolutely fantastic.
Now that you know how to build a beautiful podcast landing page, let's not stop there. Check out this video on how to build a Netflix landing page clone with WordPress to really help expand your seed prod skills for creating fantastic looking landing pages. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.